I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but donkey of the day is a new one. Yes, donkey of the day for Thursday, February 18th goes to Texas Mayor Tim Boyd. Tim Boyd is, or should I say, was the mayor of Colorado City. Before I tell you what he did, let me tell you the backstory. We all are in our own worlds here on this planet, so some of us may not be familiar with what's going on in Texas right now, but a deadly and record-breaking winter storm has left much of the state without power this week. Uh, I saw the good brother Trade the Truth. Drop on the clues bonds for Trade the Truth. I saw him post that people are sleeping in cars and dying due to carbon monoxide poisoning. And Trey pointed out something that is clearly ringing true because Trey said, and I quote, the problem for us is the people who in positions of power in Texas felt the money was more important. How the F government and politicians allow this and allow ERCOT to F us over. Uh, ERCOT is the Electric Re Reliability Council of Texas. By the way, they operate the electric grid for 75 percent of the state from what i read uh now people in texas have gone without power for, for our food for three days says trey so really serious situation happening in texas you know what i mean uh prayers up for everybody in texas who do people turn to in times like this who helps folks in situations like this because the avengers are fictional characters so is the justice league I would love for Wanda to create an alternate reality in Texas right now where they are not being hit with a winter storm. But that's not reality. OK, this isn't a Marvel Disney Plus TV show. In times like this, the people that are supposed to help are the elected officials, the public servants we put into office to protect, provide and serve our communities. So we think. I literally said to you uh, in the 6 a.m. hour in regard to Joe Biden not wanting to cancel student loan debt that I don't care if it's Republican or Democrat. They don't care about helping anyone except the rich and elite. OK, that always comes first in this country. These corporations will get bailouts, but the people will starve. It never fails. And this situation in Texas is no different. Keep in mind what I said about Texas. OK, keep in mind. What Trey said about Texas, deadly winter storm. Trey, the truth said elders and babies are dying from carbon monoxide poisoning because they have to sleep in their cars. Folks haven't eaten or had power in three days, says Trey, the truth. And the mayor of Colorado City, Texas, Tim Boyd, the mayor had this to say. Let's go to KRBC, NBC9 for the report, please. The strong will survive and the weak will perish. Harsh words from Colorado City Mayor Tim Boyd as residents continue to fight the cold. Mitchell County Judge Mark Merrill says the area has been struggling to keep water and some electricity on since Monday. And as many in the county look for help, Colorado City's mayor says don't look to him. Quoting, it's not the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. Sink or swim, it's your choice. Colorado City's mayor has Jesus. resigned, but others say the city is still working to step up and keep residents warm during the storm. I'm going to be honest with you. That news report didn't, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, do it didn't give what Tim Boyd wrote any real justice. Like they really watered what he said down. Let me read it for you. OK, this is Tim Boyd verbatim raw. I'm not putting no sauce on this. I will read you Tim Boyd's whole statement in full. <clears throat> Let me hurt some feelings while I have a minute. No one owes you or your family anything, nor is it the local government's responsibility to support you during trying times like this. Sink or swim, it's your choice. The city and county, along with power providers or any other service, owes you nothing in capital letters. I'm sick and tired of people looking for a damn handout. With an exclamation mark. If you don't have electricity, you step up and come up with a game plan to keep your family warm and safe. If you have no water, you deal without and think outside of the box to survive and supply water to your family. If you are sitting at home in the cold because you have no power and are sitting there waiting for someone to come rescue you because you're lazy, it's a direct result of your raising. Only the strong will survive and the weak will perish. Folks, God has given us the tools to support ourselves in times like this. This is sadly a product of a socialist government where they feed people to believe that the few will work and others will become dependent for handouts. Am I sorry that you have been dealing without electricity and water? Yes, I can't tell, Tim, but I'll be damned if I'm going to provide for anyone that is capable of doing it themselves. We have lost sight of those in need and those that take advantage of the system and mesh them into one group. Bottom line, quit crying and looking for a handout. Get off your ass and take care of your own family. End quote. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Tim Boyd, I need you to shut the F up forever. 
All right. These are the folks who are in who are in leadership positions in America. How can you say power providers or any other service owes the people nothing? Of course they do. They owe the people power and good service. <laughs> That's what they pay for every month. You know what happens if a regular everyday citizen tells the power company, I owe you nothing? The power company will say, oh, word, and they will cut off that person's power. See, the reason this mayor thinks the power company doesn't owe the people anything is because he knows the people need the power companies more than the companies need the people. The people have no choice but to have power, and the mayor knows this, and that's why he's flexing on his constituents in this manner. The mayor said he's sick and tired of people looking for a handout sir this weather storm this this winter storm is an act of god folks are in distress they need help if my house is on fire and i call the fire department to come put it out that's not me asking for a handout that's me as a taxpaying citizen utilizing resources that i help pay for for you to tell those residents in texas if you don't have electricity if you don't have water to come up with a different game plan to keep your family warm and safe to think outside of the box to survive tim boyd tell me your plan I bet you got water. I bet you got electricity. I bet you got food. Meanwhile, you on Facebook talking down on the people you supposed to be serving, sounding like you quoting the hook of huh by juvenile. You told the residents of Texas, you know what it is. You make nothing out of something. You handle your biz and don't be crying and suffering. If you don't get your human jaw helmets head ass up out of here, I hate when people chastise folks for problems that the people they chastised and didn't create. You called these people lazy as if they created this snowstorm, as if they put themselves in these positions. You blame their present condition on the way they were raised? Okay, you might be right, because a lot of these people weren't born privileged. Okay, they were, they were raised in the poverty. All right, grew up, they were raised poor and disenfranchised, okay? And because of socioeconomic conditions of this country, they just simply haven't been able to rise because of good old boys like Tim Boyd systemically keeping their foot on folks' necks. That is the American way, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the American way is systemically oppressed and marginalized folks. And then when the most vulner vulnerable among us is exposed by situations like this, situations that are out of their control, the people in positions of power victim blame instead of taking accountability for what you and your piss poor administration, Tim Boyd, is clearly not doing. Now, of course, the post was deleted. Tim received backlash, so he gave us the mandatory fake apology uh, after things like this happened. Let me read it. Uh, I would never want to hurt the elderly or anyone that is in true need of help to be left to fend for themselves. I was only making the statement that those folks that are too lazy to get up and fend for themselves uh, but are capable should not be dealt a handout. I apologize for the wording and some of the phrases that were used. Once again, Tim, Shut the F up forever. It's an act of God. You do realize that an act of God can bring anyone to their knees. Rich, poor, black, white, it doesn't matter. Tim, you and your family could be in that position one day. Just like that. Snap of Thanos thumb. Okay? Earthquakes, hurricanes, blizzards, they don't give a damn about your financial status. They will take your home right out and then what? We're going to tell you to get it how you live. Just like you did those families in their time of need. Now, Tim Boyd has resigned, which I'm shocked about. Usually the privileged elitists among us just say to hell with y'all. I said what I said, but he resigned and his wife got fired for his comments. See, knowing when to open your mouth and when to keep it shut is valuable wisdom. Tim, you should have kept the lid on the mayonnaise jar, aka your mouth. All right. Please let Chelsea Handler give Tim Boyd the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan mayonnaise. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.